بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله I'm reminded of the ayah where Allah سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم ومن آياته الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تسلوا للشمس ولا ولا تسلوا لا تسلوا للشمس ولا للقمر واسلوا لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم إياه تعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى says ومن آياته الليل والنهار and from his signs is the day and the night and now that the day has begun here, this place that we're here, Rattlesnake Creek or Rattlesnake Ridge, it's transformed. Because if you were to come here at night, not only would it be cold, but there would be fear. There would be an eerie silence and darkness. But now, from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this same place is a place where you feel safe and a place in which you feel a different kind of comfort that you can enjoy. We can enjoy this uh, place and this opportunity without the, the same fear that we would have in the night. And from his signs is the day and the night. And the sun and the sun and the moon do not prostrate to the shems, to the sun. Do not make sujood to the sun. From that ahabatifillah, we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates shirk in all of its forms. That no matter how beautiful the creation is, how magnificent, how wonderful, how many things that amaze us and the intricacies that we still give all the praise Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen that all the praise belongs to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala all the praise belongs to Allah so Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala negates shirk in all of its forms and manifestations that the Muslim we believe that even with the beauty of creation and with our respect and love for these signs, that these are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah says they're signs. Wamin ayati, and from his signs is the night and the day. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms Tawheed. What kind of Tawheed is this that's affirmed in this ayah? Tawheed al ibadah Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ وَشَمْسُ وَالْقَمْرِ لَا تَشْجِدُوا لِشَمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَاسْجِدُوا لِلَّهِ عَلَى ذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah commands us to prostrate before Him. وَاسْجِدُوا لِلَّهِ Prostrate to Allah. أَلَذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ The one who created all of this. إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ If it is him you truly worship. So if you are truly أَهْلَ Tawheed and the people of monotheism and from أَهْلَ Sunnah and from the Salafiyun, then your prostration, your worship, everything goes back to Allah. And as an aside, حَبْتِ فِي with dealing with all the fitna that we deal with, Understand that when we refute one another, when we refute Ahl Bidah, when we bring attention to our brothers' and sisters' mistakes, that it should be only for the sake of Allah. It should be only to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and protect the community from the harm and for ta'zim haq and for making the haq utmost and letting it be known. But not 
the opposite, which is hezbiyah. Hezbiyah we, means we make those mistakes known and we point out the mistakes of our brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah and we refute Ahlul Bid'ah for Ta'zim and Nafs to make ourselves look bigger, to become more famous, more views on the YouTube, more uh, people signing up in our merkas, more people coming to our conference, more people giving us money, more, more wives, more luxuries of the dunya. So we have to avoid that. We have to remember everything is about the worship of Allah, not the worship of ourselves. And that Dawah to Ahl Sunnah is calling back to Tawheed. It's Tawheed in all of its forms. And here we're just looking at some of the signs of Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.